The Rate, sponsored by AC Designs. We're going to start tonight off with just a quick look at some statistics. We only have 18 days left in meteorological summer. So how hot have things really been here in Jacksonville? Well, it's been the seventh warmest summer on record. If you just look at the high temperatures, the low temperatures pretty much tell the same story as well. Warmest ever here is 74.5 degrees, so very, very warm weather. Also, we've had a heat index of 108, 33 times up at the airport here this year, which is tied for the most ever. Would not be surprised if we do break that record before the summer is out. And it's still pretty warm out there right now. Temperatures across the first coast still stuck in the mid, even upper 80s in some locations. NAS Jacks. 88 degrees out there right now at 1118. So it is very warm, very muggy, and it's going to stay like that overnight and into tomorrow morning. Overnight temperatures, upper 70s for inland areas, right around that 80 degree mark for places pretty much from Mayport down the coast to St. Augustine. So uh, whether you're just heading out to school tomorrow morning or maybe you're heading to the joint practice between the Jags and the Buccaneers. Practice begins at 945. Temperatures already going to be in the mid 80s. Quickly warming up into the low 90s, feeling though like the triple digits already by lunchtime. 100 to 105 degrees for those real field temperatures and heat indices tomorrow. So the heat remains relentless. Stay hydrated, stay cool as best you can there throughout tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid 90s, but again, feeling like 105. You might luck out with at least a little bit of some rain that might cool you off there tomorrow afternoon. We'll see the sea breeze work its way in between about 2 and 4 p.m. That could bring some coastal showers right along that I-95 corridor. But then the big story is going to be the cold front we've been tracking here over the last couple of days. That's going to start to slide in across southeast Georgia by dinner time tomorrow night. And we likely will see a few straight scattered thunderstorms try to fire up along that frontal boundary. So many of those will gradually shift to the west or to the south and southwest through the remainder of tomorrow evening, which could again bring a little bit of a cool down. Some of those showers could also linger into Thursday, but big story is just going to be a nice cool down. Upper 80s for your Thursday. Again, one or two stray coastal showers primarily, but cooler weather and also pretty breezy. Winds out of the northeast anywhere from about 10 to 15, even 20 miles per hour. So as Ernesto turns northward and heads up toward Bermuda, we have the cold front blow on through. Cooler, drier air filtering in here across the first coast, making things feel much nicer. Now, the only tidbit again with Ernesto is once it does move past us, we could see some pretty rough surf and some high rip currents there uh, at all of our beaches for both Friday and Saturday. So if you're heading out to the beach, keep that in mind. But otherwise, beautiful day here across Jacksonville and really the entire first coast. Upper 80s for Friday, Saturday, we start to gradually begin to warm back up into the low 90s. Mid 90s, unfortunately, though, they are going to return by Sunday and into the start of next week. And with the heat also comes the humidity and the daily chances for rain. I do think we have a pretty good shot to see in scattered to even widespread rain and storms there by next Monday and Tuesday. Thank you, Ryan.